Good afternoon, and at this time, will sergeants please start their recordings? PC rolling. Recording to the cloud, all set. Thank you, and good afternoon, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote on the Committee on Housing and Buildings. At this time, would all council members and council staff please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you, Chair Cornergy. We are ready to begin. Good afternoon and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Cornegy, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to vote on a bill that relates to the issuance of interim certificates of occupancy. The Department of Buildings or DOB issues certificates of occupancy before a building can be legally occupied where a certificate of occupancy cannot be issued because there are outstanding concerns, DOB will issue a temporary certificate of occupancy. This temporary certificate of occupancy, which is valid for 90 days, indicates that the property is safe for occupancy, but that the outstanding concerns preventing the issuance of a final certificate of occupancy have not been resolved. After 90 days, the DOB must inspect the property before a new temporary certificate of occupancy can be issued. As a result, DOB is required to repeatedly inspect properties with a temporary certificate of occupancy, placing a large administrative burden on an already overworked agency. Proposed intro number 2033A, which I sponsored, would allow DOB to issue interim certificate of occupancy before all of the work in the building is completed, allowing occupancy of specific floors and reducing the need for repeated inspections before the final certificate of occupancy can be issued. This bill does not apply to residential buildings with fewer than eight stories or four dwelling units, non-residential buildings with fewer than five stories, mixed use buildings with fewer than four dwelling units or parking structures. This bill also requires that temporary certificates of occupancy, including interim certificates of occupancy, be posted in buildings. These temporary and interim certificates of occupancy can be revoked if they were issued in error or based on incorrect information. I'm joined today by Council Member Lewis Rosenthal, Rivera, Jonai, Cabrera, Perkins, Gridenchik. Uh, that's that's all I see. I'm sure we have more. Who did I miss? I said Rivera, right? I see you. Uh, we can now ask the clerk to call the roll. Good afternoon, Matthew DiStefano, committee clerk. Roll call vote on proposed intro 2033A. Chair Cornegy. I vote aye. Cabrera. I vote aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Council member Perkins. I think you're muted. I'm skilled at lip reading. I think you said I. Uh, Council Member Perkins. All right. I think Jonai. I about I. Rivera. I. Lewis. I vote aye. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions, the bill has been adopted. Thank you, this concludes the hearing on housing and buildings, uh, December 9th. Thank you so much for joining.